And in fact, the most common neurological problem in patient with uh, CKD and chronic uremia or any uremic patient is going to be peripheral neuropathy. That's the most common form of uh, neurological problem that happens in a patient with uremia. Coming to question 5, here is a 55-year-old male with a history of end-stage renal disease. Currently on hemodialysis, present to your office for a follow-up visit. He reports history of impotence, dyspepsia, dizziness and so on. These are all autonomic symptoms. Which of the following is true about his illness? So technically, if you see this kind of history, it clearly tells you that this patient is suffering from peripheral neuropathy due to chronic uremia. And in fact, the most common neurological problem in patient with uh, CKD and chronic uremia or any uremic patient is going to be peripheral neuropathy. That's the most common form of uh, neurological problem that happens in a patient with uremia. And peripheral neuropathy will be typically axonal type and it can have a lot of autonomic manifestations, a kind of autonomic neuropathy as well. So which of the following is correct? That's what they're asking. The sympathetic nervous system is overactive. That's the right statement. In patients with uh, uremia-induced autonomic neuropathy, the sympathetic nervous system will be hyperactive and the parasympathetic nervous system will be hypoactive. That's a very important point. So the option number A is correct. What about option B? The illness generally occurs only in patients with advanced CKD. Uh, not correct. Even early CKD, this can happen. When superintestanding, heart rate will remain unchanged. That's also uh, incorrect. That generally indicates a... Uh, uh, chronotropic incompetence or probably we are talking about the sympathetic incompetence here the patient's sympathetic nervous system is overactive so they can have excessive tachycardia so heart rate will change and in fact they can have more tachycardia than what should happen bare receptor sensitivity remain normal this is also wrong in patients with uh, uremic autonomic dysfunction bare receptor sensitivity will be affected because bare receptors are a form of uh, parasympathetic nervous system only I told you in patients with uremia, parasympathetic nervous system activity will be less hypoactive. So that's why baroreceptor baro sensitivity will be abnormal and will be reduced in patients with chronic kidney disease and uremia. So the right answer for this question is going to be option A. Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from PrepLadder.